Hello everyone and welcome to another Star Wars Battlefront 2 mod review or I should say mod showcasing more like and this is Geonosis London at Point Rain it's based off the of Clone Wars and the download link will of course be in the description this is an interesting map it's very linear and it's kind of lopsided kind of now this, is, now this is zero command post to this day, I have no idea, you can't spawn in it, I have no idea where it's technically supposed to be located. Now there's one annoying factor about the droid side, they don't sprint. Clones are able to sprint, but droids actually cannot sprint, so it's not like I'm just walking and not sprinting, I literally, I had no choice, I'm not sprinting. And the hero is actually something random uh, for the droid side, and the uh, hero for the clone troopers are is uh, Obi Wan Kenobi, uh, Obi Wan Kenobi, a custom Obi Wan Kenobi. And the reason I say this thing is lopsided, if you notice how the map layout, and once again, it's that zero command post is um, gone. I have no idea what it's supposed to be. I think it may be cannons, kind of. Now uh, the droids are going to bum rush. Now for some reason, I always get lag. For some reason, like it's fine now. And it's like weird, it's the only map I've ever met that actually gives me lag. And that's when I'm not recording. Like it's sometimes like this when I'm not recording. This is the only map I've met that gives me this sheer amount of lag. And I don't exactly know why. I think it's because there's a bunch of you know there'll be a bunch of I think it's like every 30 seconds these clone troopers ships come by. And once again, we're just slowly walking. <laughs> this is the reason I want to play as a droid, just so I can show off how annoying this is. And you can't. Now, the clones seem to always be able to take over the command post initially. But then after a short while, the CIS will always take care of them. And I think I'm dead. Yep, I am dead. But the CIS will always take control of them after a while. And it kind of just becomes lopsided after a while. Let's try a Geonosius Warrior just for YOLO purposes, and he can't sprint either. Fortunately, the Geonosius are kind of the ones you kind of want to go with because they kind of actually able to actually traverse the battlefield. And so the clones always seem to be able to get here, and also command Captain Rex. And I'm not going to show off everything because I don't want to give away everything. There's also invulnerable abilities and all of that. And this is, of course, based on the Clone Wars episode of Land of the Rain. Now, this is an interesting shield. There's no way to disable it. And they can't. you cannot shoot into it from on this side. But you can shoot out of it if my aim was any good. Yeah, Geonosius, I never did like playing with them in mods because their weapons require a hefty amount of aim. And low reward. There are turrets all over the place. And also I want to point out, there's this hole right here. Which, you actually can't look into it that good at all. You can't look into the hole, and I apologize for the lie, this is the only map that gives me lag for some reason, I noticed. And I actually, that hole actually doesn't go anywhere. It actually is a glitch outside the map, which I'll show off. So once again, you can shoot out of it, but let me just see if I can get a safe spot. You can't shoot into it, and there's no way to disable it. So kind of an interesting thing there. So I'm going to try to get this command post to turn the tide. And it's kind of like once the droids take over this command post, it's kind of over. Of course, I don't like my army to actually attack. See, also there's some really OP classes in this. Uh, the Geonosius Elite Soldier is kind of the one you really want to go as. Now, Poggle the Lesser actually one-shots everything. Oh boy, I gotta actually capture it. Defend this. Also, the music is great. Oh, that's Commander Cody. Okay, I just got destroyed by Cody. Now, it's good my guys actually captured this. So I want to show off something. This command post here is very, very strangely designed. Because you see, these turns are here. These are always on the CIS side, no matter who's in control of it. And I mean, no matter who's in control. They will always one-shot the clones, and I'm not sure they one-shot heroes. I actually haven't tested it. I'm going to show off the hero real quickly. And this is just some random Sith assassin dude. Now, this guy comes off as basically almost useless half the time, because there are a lot of high... Um, now, I'm, I'm, I said he's useless while I'm tearing through enemies. 
but there's a lot of um, instant kill range weapons, especially by a clone trooper named Boyle, which I won't show off because you have to play it to show it, see everything. And he actually has, he one shots no matter what distance, he has a big heavy cannon. Now this guy can shred through enemies, but if a uh, clone trooper like Boyle gets a hell of him, he will basically be one shot or two shot or that will happen. So, yeah. Uh, let's see, number seven's not took, taken, so I kind of have to... I guess it would be a good shot to show off the soldier, but that's some kind of just random droid assassin is the hero. And if you actually notice, the clones actually refer to him as Count Dooku, so the guy who made him made him an actual Count Dooku skin. Now this guy has a really overpowered ability, and it is, uh, regen he has great regeneration and can be invulnerable. He's just like Captain Rex, actually. They both have the same ability. They put this regeneration shield on, and once again, I apologize for the lag. This would be the only map that I have some met lag on. And he has a regeneration. Uh, you actually have to throw it like down in order to get it, and it's infinite. And also, let's put invul on. He basically, it does exactly what it says. The regeneration makes you a crazy amount of regeneration, and invulnerability, I think it's just much better regeneration to be honest but anyway I love the style of the map it is a very linear map and there hardly is any cover and once in a while you will get the occasional lag spike now oh it's crap I actually forgot that this guy is not a normal Geonosian he actually has a blaster cannon oh my goodness that's a horrible this is a horrible spawn but yeah he completely obliterates everything he's basically and I don't know what I got shot by oh I got shot by Boyle yep Boyle one shots no matter what which is kind of annoying but of course if you play as him you'll be the most dominant fate on the battlefield and as far as I know there's nothing like Boyle as far as in there's my phone going off I apologize Yeah. Like I said, I have no idea where that guy came from. I'm gonna try to show off some snipes. This is gonna be a sh Oh my goodness, this is this is terrible spawn. I'm just gonna get rid of my phone real quick. This is terrible spawning. Got a nice little rock thing going. And a terrible snipe. Oh my god. Wait a minute, how much ammo do I have? I have 50... Wow, that's a lot of ammo for snipers. I know this mod will give snipers a crazy amount of ammo and I'm destroyed. Like I said, every like 30 seconds, it's just a mob of uh, clones come out. Now, I'm actually going to show you some of that um, checkpoint free, checkpoint, spawn camp free. And now this guy is basically, I, I assume he's a one shot, I've actually never played with him. So, it apparently has some secondary attack. Okay, so apparently he has a, uh, if you switch to secondary, actually you have to press your grenade button. See, he has a one shot, that's weird. Now, there are cannons right here, and apparently they do have health bars, but here's the thing, and I actually don't seem to be able to actually get down. Okay, this is weird. I, I think, okay, I think I might be going down. Okay, he has really weird controls. So you do have these cannons, but you actually can't enter them, and I actually don't know if they fire or not. I legitimately don't know because I actually been able to get clones, and also I don't know what that little um, those things off the cliff side are. I'm actually going to test that out. Uh, I'm going to respawn, go to another Gen Ocean. I want to see what those. I think those are another blue cannons. Uh, I don't really want to play as the hero. Let's go with Poggle the Lesser. Now, Poggle the Lesser is... Oh my goodness! He's a one-shot from any distance. And he, once again, is a Gene Ocean. He can fly. He can't sprint. If my aim wasn't so terrible with these stupid Sonic things. Okay, I got a nice health pack. I just want to go to where... That... There's a little bit of blue. If you know, notice, I'm going towards some blue. 
I'm wanting to see what that specifically is, because there is no ships or anything. Oh yeah, it is what I thought. It actually is cannons. Now you can't enter these, which is weird. You cannot enter... Ah, who cares? I'm not really going to show off. Now you can't enter these cannons, which is a little weird. And uh, I don't see them firing at all. And I don't know if they do fire, because this is actually the first time I actually came to check them out. If you notice, that's actually a scene from the Clone Wars. They put the AT-ATs. They're very, very nicely constructed. The models are spot on. I love the music. And there's really only one other thing I, I'm going to show. Yeah, the, the, nice job, Jordan. There's also these uh, turrets, which is the only things actually you can man. And to this day, I've not used them because I've not seen any NPCs use them. And really, there's no reason to use them because all the battle comes out goes from beyond the shield, which once again you can shoot out of. Which it kind of, I mean, if you're doing the multiplayer, it would just turn into all you have to do is just camp this area and you would win because there's no way they can actually get to you. I'm going to capture this command post real quick. And also, the droids have a huge advantage in numbers, I should say, by like a. 150 to go by normal standards, and shoot. Now, I did say Pogger Lesser was a one shot. I actually don't know that for sure. Once again, I'm getting that stupid lag. It's probably going to seem to get it from this map. And Clone Trooper just ran away. Okay, so uh, we got him done. Once again, Pogger the Lesser. I like the model on The models are spot on. I love it. Now, he does have a Neuro Poison, which I don't know. Since there's no like actual throw animation, I actually. Um, now, Rage. I'll throw down it. I don't seem to have gotten it. Or it's not coming up. Once again, this command post has been taken by the Republic. They've destroyed the turrets, but those turrets regenerate very quickly and they will one shot any clones that come up. Now, these turrets I know is shoot down a lot, so they don't really get as many kills as you think. I think that smoke effect is what's causing me to... Oh my goodness, Commander Cody. Or Captain Rex, whatever. I'm sure all the Clone Wars fanboys will now be hating. Get this command post again, which is... Like, these two turrets here just go ridiculous. And once again, I, don't, I just don't see those... Oh no, that's boil. Oh, I just got boil. Oh, come at me, son. Who's up for a triple? You are, Cody? Okay. Okay, I'm dead. Call me dead. Yep, I'm dead. Let's see. There's not too much more to show off. Like I said, once again, I'll remind that the download link will be down in the description. Oh, I'll show off this uh, hole, which shows that has no purpose whatsoever. At first, I thought this was maybe a shortcut. But, or something like to get around with the battlefield, like Geonos like your vanilla Geonosis battle has. So I went down this hole thinking it was something special. It's nothing. And you actually end up going underneath the map. And I don't know if you can actually get on top of the map. Apparently you can fly back up on the map. Oh my goodness, you can fly on top of the map. Yeah, but this is a glitched version. Oh wow. Wow, <laughs> apparently that is a cheese spot. I guess you can technically cheese it. Wow, that's actually poor planning. That's a really bad map design. <laughs> they actually be able to use a glitch like that. But anyway, uh, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Like I guess um, I will be doing more of these if I see much more. If I if I see people enjoying them, I'll continue to do these. And uh, thank you for watching. Bye bye.